We out here. That's What's poppin'? Hey, hit that yeah. motherfucking intro, man. Again. This is your F Given Hatbox episode. Mm -hmm. We got Dallas, the HBNIC head bitch in charge in the front hey. seat. You dig? Squad. She about to tell you what's going on, what she got going on, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, we got to keep up with that. Hey, you know hey, what I'm saying? P, who's that in the cut with you? You know and that guy? ain't smacking in my fucking ear hey. like it's no tomorrow. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was that a hungover, bro. I need this. That phone's not getting shit. Yeah. <laughs> motherfucking home food. It better be. Motherfucking $10. Big hungry. <laughs> we about to get in Dallas. Dallas, why don't you introduce yourself and what you got going on? What's poppin'? It's your girl, Dallas Champagne. Host of the Dish with Dallas. Listen. We doing a dual situation right now. Yeah, you see what's happening. So it's P say what's up to the folks, P. What's up to the dish with Dallas crew? What's up? Yeah. Weezy mm -hmm. back there what's eating up? and you know shit. Um, y'all gotta tune in. Tune the fuck in. Get them views up. Yes, get them I'm up. I'm telling y'all, get them up. You no, know, it's been it's been eight years, so season one is ending. Um I almost didn't make it. I thought I was gonna be late because we <laughs> I'm filming ironically episode two of season two and we haven't even finished episode Man, one of one way one twelve <laughs> season finale of season one but it's coming it's lit um we fresh off indie fashion week shout out to righteous ones entertainment so tell tell zero f's given a uh, fan base what's the content on the dish oh okay so the underground there's an the underground scene it's called ballroom um anyone who's caught the series Pose on FX. That is basically gives you a synopsis of what Ballroom is. So I pretty much interview a lot of the personalities that um, participate in that competitive scene. Um, so right now Pose is in, they just ended season two. Oh, yeah. um, so it's super lit. Right on point. You haven't had, what the fuck? <laughs> We out here. Yeah. Oh, you won a battle. Listen, had I know you had those, I would have won my other ones. Shout out to Tasha. These Tasha's man. Tasha, these are lit. You've been, you've been, you've been holding out. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. I've been. I also interview like the models that's in the CMF UAE scene, and I also have in the interviews like some adult entertainers and things of that nature. So I'm trying to branch out because I don't want to limit myself to just interviewing those personalities i want to interview everybody anybody who got a story that i think is lit that's who i want to highlight that's who i want to hear the, hear stories from and you know it's lit right, right, right. i know you've been on the model scene so you can help some of these rookies out you know what i'm saying oh all these duties if i tell y'all that i'm gonna tell my age mm. but no i've been um you say you're a vet <laughs> i'm gonna say actually no 2003 2000 2002 yeah 2002. 2002, I was leaving out of Jeff, people. Really? You had to say that? <laughs> Jeff, <Jack, laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I. it's been that long. Oh, speaking of that, like, if you are a model, if you are an actor, if you're a DJ, if you sing, rap, whatever the fuck you do, if you're talented Stop and rapping. you're interested in modeling. No, P, I'm talking to <laughs> you. P being shady. No, if you um, are interested in modeling or any type of entertainment, Righteous Ones Entertainment, The Draft, 9 30 this coming monday model mondays at glow lounge um hit us up come through the draft, um, the draft is gonna be lit again shout out to righteous ones we are definitely looking for some new talent so if you're interested or you know anybody that's interested okay. definitely come through okay P, you you say it, you know. uh please don't come you. through look sounding like the baby <laughs> That cadence is getting old. Stop that shit, y'all. Hey, Speaking of the baby, shit. though, I ain't knocking them. I'm, Grim Reaper. I'm not knocking them, but hey. everybody else can't. Everybody can't. So do on that the shit. platform, I hold the baby. The, the CD, the CD is decent. Bro. I heard the baby I drop there. It was lit. So I ain't knocking. I'm hey, talking about the baby. CD. That's my nigga. Did you hear it though, baby? No, I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, no, nah, give it a chance. No, I ain't knocking him. I'm just saying everybody that's rapping like him. Everybody rapping with that same fucking cadence. I mean, but it happens. You know, it's the way people catch the wave and they try to catch that money. You know, very few people have their own identities that yeah, they gotta man. fight. But so, you're yeah. supposed to take little things from different places exactly. and create your own. Yeah, you know? but, that, but that, since you've up, you know, I've been listening to him. Yeah, yeah, hey, talking. P, I got a question real quick, right? Yeah. So me, Wayne, and P, remember, we did a top three. Mm -hmm. Let me just ask you your top three, no, top five, just to make it make it nice. The top five. Mm. Top five what? Rappers. Rappers. Oh my Dead god. Alive. Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Um, male and female. 
See, cause I'm, I got I got a feeling when y'all was having this conversation, y'all didn't include the females. So I I I I did. I definitely. Did. I ain't gonna say. I actually it, had I more in more females in my. So I asked oh, this question, y'all, because to, Dallas is also a rapper. I had to so, tweak it though a little bit, cause okay. you know some Rap, people. Rapunzel. Yeah, some people, you know. And consider maybe like somebody like Lauryn Hill a rapper, so I had to move her out. Okay. Because so. Lauryn Hill is known for an R&B album mostly. It's not about what she's known She was for. an artist to me. The, you, you don't consider her, I think we had this conversation before, you don't consider her a rapper. Yeah. All right, let me answer the question so, first. So, top five rappers. Um, Lauryn, Biggie. Um, In this order? No. Oh. Jay. Hmm. Um, Jay the Kiss. Ooh. Um, Foxy. Oh, well, surprise, surprise. That was stupid. List. <laughs> right, fuck you, know what you mean my list was stupid? Let me see who the fuck you got on this list. Listen, I already, I already, I already know that your list is gonna be fucking trying. Listen, <laughs> so, listen, come on, my top. Oh, here we go. Automatic five. five I want to hear y'all too. So. Of course. Number one, KRS One. Number two, M. Okay. Number three, Big Wees. Mm -hmm. Number four, gotta say Pop. And number five, I hate to say it, I really do, but I give it to Jay. I give Damn, it to Jay. Really All right, I actually disagree with only one person on your list. I feel like everybody else is worthy of being on somebody's top five. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. what you disagree with I love Pop but he mm -hmm. why why would he be on your mm -hmm. what, what we talking about lyrical yeah. what lyrical what though what are you talking great y'all you are playing also, in my face also <laughs> hold up wait a minute also he had a wide range of topics he covered. Con, Not yeah. only that. Can you co sign in this? Part the goat to me. He, That's my favorite rapper. He, hold on, listen, hold on, no, okay. he gave it to the mothers. Man, he gave man. it to the gangsters. Then he, he, man, listen, my man was all over the place. My right, only thing he didn't have was the beats. Pac is in my top 10, of course. All oh, right. But okay. this is the thing, right? Like all that y'all got y'all top five, and it's based on however you all. What do you all consider? I'm talking about bars. Mm, so mm. for me, those people that I named, undeniable. Uh, you said no, Jada Kiss, right? No, you said Styles. I yeah, said, I said Jada, Jada Kiss. You said Jada? You said you're trying to be funny, even <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're trying to be funny. Tough, though. Style's I mean, tough. he is. I'm not, say, I'm not say saying he's better not, than Jada. But they're different. Cassidy. Go oh, ahead. Oh, tell her your top five, man. My top five, my number one is Pop. Mm -hmm. Two J, mm -hmm. three Big, mm -hmm. four Cube, and five Andre Three Thousand. Cube, Cube is really? Tough. I yes. can see why Andre would be there. Hey, Cube man. really? Cube, Cube got bars. Whole, listen, Cube fathered a whole genre of rap. Facts. And everybody followed that way. He form. got, he got, he got lyrics. He did the diss. He wrote the whole for the whole group. It's kind of hard. And here's you know the part about NWA the lyrics and all that shit. So the Cube, way one nigga rap. On a coast ain't gonna be the same way a, a nigga rap on a whole different coast because it's true. You, you can't you can't fault a southern nigga for being southern. Never. And their their fucking lyrics and their bars is gonna reflect that. Mm -hmm. That don't I, mean they don't have bars. I respect. I mean, no bars is bars. It ain't no it don't mean. That's what, what I'm saying. Like niggas say, Titty Boy ain't got bars. Who? Titty Boy do have bars. Now, who said Titty Boy don't got bars? A lot of motherfuckers. I think Tushane. Be got for. Well, he's, he's on two chains, right? Yeah. Two chains got bars. Why are you gonna put me in there? <laughs> nigga, I'm just saying. I mean, you, Cube was, was in your top. I was in Teddy Boy when he was Cube. I mean, I was in two chains when he was Teddy Cube Boy. Got bars. So, yeah. I'm a, a lot of people don't know two chains been at this for a very long time. Very long time. Like, <laughs> he, he is. Why kind of old? Kinda old. Kinda old. <laughs> Y'all playing his face too. Like, I like heard people truck. like. He is there. Rick only said that it's the. Make you All jump. Right. <laughs> so look, my top, my top five. Here we go. It's Hove, okay. Pop, Biggie, Three Stacks, and Scarface. Those are my top five. Wait, Three Stacks? Who's this? Who's Andre Three Thousand. Okay. Three Thousand. Um, and Scarface. Um, you all right now, honey? <laughs> Scarface. Scarface. Scarface? <laughs> that, listen, I I keep trying to tell y'all like. Majority of the rappers 
come from New York. So niggas that really feel like they all the way into rap. It's gonna have all the New York rappers up there. I can't. Do no, that. but I, hold on. I but y'all tell me, but, but, but my dude's not from New York. I'm confused. That's why you, she said no. You, to you tell me oh. you had um females in your top five. Oh no, no, no. I, on my list. On your list. What on list? My, on my list. We had a top fifty. So we had a top fifty. That's what he was saying. Fifty. Yeah. yeah. Nah, we but we she, burnt that motherfucker. But the thing is up. though. So everybody, let's everybody got their own type of acquired taste. Mm -hmm. That's what you know I what said. Yeah. So it's like, mm -hmm. so what females was in y'all top fifty? Uh, I just got Missy. So I had you only got Missy. Yeah. Pete, I, I they shady as shit. He is a tough nah, crowd. I, I, like, I, I like a lot of so female look, rappers. So listen, but most of the female rappers that I feel are super lyrical didn't don't have the work. So we did. It. We and I we definitely did got have topics. We did. We did Mickey have and, a list and of Missy. Top. And Kim. Yeah. So I did. I had Missy. I had Kim. I had to put Nikki. It's, it, it's just, Fox. Go. It's on, it's, go. You can't not have Nikki. I don't care what nobody say. Um. At first, I was gonna put. Uh, you ain't on either. Yeah. Remember, I told you I took Lauren Hill out. Shay. I didn't want to though. Cause she was in my, she, top, who, she was who, in my top. Who top twenty? Who bullied you into taking her? <laughs> out? Nah, that was all no, 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 people. I'm smitten. That was all people. I don't care. Listen, he was on the phone. He was on the phone. No, no, no. I called him. Okay, okay, okay. That's the question. What okay. rap song on the Miss Education of Long Hill is? is P. Why we? Why we only no, talking about? Y'all act like. No, no. I, mean, I understand the fools, but don't nobody know nothing past after. I mean, before the score. Who is nobody? A lot of people don't. Know. He don't know. <laughs> oh, don't know. Yeah. P, how you gonna try to favor? Favor Lauren. Get him. Favorite, favorite Get him. That's what yeah, I was saying. Albums in my house. So reality you, and so stuff you like don't that. think she's worthy? She's cool, but she don't have. She's overrated. It's hell. Oh hell no! It's crazy. It's hell. The disrespect, like I'm fucking overrated. gagging. I'm not right saying now. she's terrible, but she's overrated. Why like, is she overrated? She only y'all only basing off one album, two group albums. But no, almost, what? No, 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 no. See, remember when I said we based it off of what our preference is? You based it off I'm, the albums. I'm, I'm, I'm basing it off the lyrics. But you had to be consistent. You can't have so you, one. So, oh, so, I'm going to tell you why. I'm so going to tell you why Biggie's not number one. about consistency? She never had number one. I'm going to tell you why Biggie's not number one. Because Biggie don't have enough albums. And, and Tupac is your number one. Yeah. Right, yeah. Because his catalog is the largest. The catalog, the sales, his influence. That's like saying a nigga is dope because he won one ring. You can't say that, nigga. You only want one ring. We don't know if you can do we that talk, shit consistently. Talking about albums and consistency, Missy should be number one on your list. That's why she was before she any was of them. On my, she, like, she can't be. No she one. was my first. She was my first. She lady. a bitch. She was. She, so she can't be number one. No, this is not, foolish. That's her song too. That is uh, way more. Was was way more female though. rappers than what people imagine. But like I said, the ones that's top lyricists, that's lyrical people that I feel like can go bar for bar with men, they don't have no discography. Nikki do. Nikki and do. Can. And but Nikki, this autography is trash. It's not. No, no it's not. Wait, wait. Actually, got, it do, is. Do she, got a, do she got a classic album? Yes. No. Yes. Nikki she, don't have no fucking classic album. She yeah. does. Well, you can listen not to for you. Percent. What, what not, in your opinion is a classic album? Yeah, not album. for you. Here we go again. We're talking about <laughs> <laughs> preference. Yeah, no, a classic Look, album is how many, on a, how many songs bump on the motherfucker? Right. See, that, I mean, that's your oh, personal no, 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 opinion, no, no. y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, that's, that's the case. Fucking great. Yeah, I respect you, you it. Your own yeah, yeah, I'm not I, I don't agree, but, yeah, that's but I respect it. The consistency of the album, the versatility of the album, your lyrics, like you said, your lyrics, and all that other stuff, that shit matters. Tupac ain't just talking about one thing on all his albums. Different flows, different beats, different concepts. He be saying some shit that, you know what I'm saying, I can relate to. So can I ask you a question? What? Have you literally taken the time to listen to an entire Nicki Minaj album? No. No. Hell no. See, there you go. See, that, that's, that's why. That's, 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 that's why it's not fair. But is it classic though? Yeah, you was in there. You just gotta no. listen to she it. She said it wasn't though. You I, no, no, I said no, no, it no, no. What I said no, was, said. what I said, what I agree with you was that the discography, she got a lot of features. When it, when it comes to songs on her own, it's not as popping. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause she's standing up to Jay and Kanye on Monster and shit like that. Yeah. I get that. See, Nikki is she's um she's great at holding her own. She when she's do that. on a Since feature. We speaking on Nikki. Now, also, hold on. Another thing though. She Go ahead and say it. I'm waiting. People on my list, it's the ghostwriting shit. If you got a question, I knew he was gonna say it. He asterisk Nikki by your name, you can't get on my list. <laughs> but hold up, wait, 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 wait. Can I get on my fucking list? You saying if 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 it has been alleged that you have a ghostwriter? So now, what, so what, so now mind you, you to, the on, nigga that on. he's saying ghost wrote for Nikki said he didn't. 
But hold up. Nikki this? said he didn't. What's the boyfriend name, ex-boyfriend? Safari. 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 Well, he never said he didn't. He didn't. He yes, he left, did. He, didn't. He, he left you. No, Safari admitted and then and then. Yeah, he's retracted. in between. He keep going back and forth. So my whole thing is right. Y'all know him, right? Admitted. Y'all know him, right? I'm not an M fan, but I know you him. You know I am. So what's up with him and Royce the uh, Five Nine? What about him? When, when he when he sued Eminem for stealing his shit. I don't know nothing about. Oh, that. I don't know. The but oh, I don't, I don't know, about, know that. about that. Oh, you gotta look. You gotta do your facts. Ask Siri. I know about Lil Kim being sued. That's what I'm saying. For not they paying her bills. You remember right? they fell off. Remember they supposed to had a, a whole CD together. Bad meets evil. A long keep, time ago. I, I do. I do. And what I, but what I'm saying to you is he was saying M stole this everything from him and was putting and making right, money so, off of it. So what was it? What did he steal? No, I'm just saying. What did he steal? No. Nah, like, uh, what song is it? Uh. I think it's um the time when he made uh around making Renegade or something. Remember was what? it a song or was no, it, it's, it was verses, lyrics, like literally it's that. bars for bars. The now same FYI, thing. don't That's, forget that M is a battle rapper. Oh, I know that, and and Royce the his too though. I know. That's what I'm saying. They they when they battle, they use the other niggas. I'm not saying this is what happened because I I don't even know this story, but yeah, they use other niggas' know, words to go against them, like conceited. What, what, he what? said. Let me slow it down. I just dissed you when he started battling against um, Fat Cuz. I forgot his name. That's my man, though. But when he started battling against him, he used conceited shit and killed conceited with his shit. Man, but I don't, I, I don't know that, so if that was the case or not. I don't listen to that nigga. So sorry. Who? Go to find that. Nah, I don't. Don't nobody listen to that nigga. But Wayne. <laughs> nah, no, I don't fuck with Wayne. Wayne, Wayne hung over y'all, so I'm gonna fuck with him a little bit today. Yeah, so. I got different criteria, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be, though. But I respect your opinion, Dad. You know me and you go back and forth all the time, so, you know, it's Listen, nothing. Hey, I want everybody to know that this is the first day that Grim Reaper respectfully disagreed with somebody. Because if oh, it was me and Wayne, uh, it'd be it. on our ass. Yeah. Off with his head. Off with his motherfucking <laughs> That's head. That's a lie, because y'all motherfuckers always be arguing. Y'all pick the argument. Like, <laughs> Y'all hey. know I'm going to say something back. Man, we ain't even get to the topics. What we got on topics today, P? First, we're going to talk about is Jim Jones an informant. Oh, shit. <laughs> is he? Oh, is he? shit. Jimmy. Is he? Boy. He's still I can't say he. I don't know. So it's a, There's tell, certain facts that say he, people saying that they use and say he's an informant, but I'm not so, in that so, world, so I don't know. So what's, what's going on? So Why pretty much they saying, all right, after the all your all this Takashi Takashi shit came out. 6 mm 6 -hmm. 9 Mm -hmm. And with Jim Jones being on the phone, mm -hmm. ordering the head of the Bloods to violate this kid, people saying, "How come everybody else getting picked up except for Jim Jones?" Jim Jones got busted in Atlanta for weed and guns. Mm -hmm. He got off of that. Mm -hmm. He's got probation. He had this house, and all of a sudden that he got pinched. Now he has to foreclose on his house in Jersey. There's like a whole bunch of little things and inconsistencies here and there mm -hmm. that fan people, well, people saying he's a rat. Mm -hmm. He's snitching. And how come they didn't pick up on him now? Everybody else is going down. He's the only one that's bypassing. He was the one that ordered the violation. Mm. He was part of the conspiracy just by being on the audio. Mm -hmm. So how can you do that mm -hmm. and not go down with the crew, go down with the gang? So it's a bunch of, like, I don't know. It's just crazy. Some, it's some inconsistency. Inconsistency. Yeah, exactly. What? They say he's an informant. I oh, don't know. Some of those things can't be coincidence. I mean, it can't. You know what I'm saying? Coincidence. But I feel like this. He, all of them raps because all of them snitched on their goddamn self. They got wide tap. They been nosy. Like my man said, in all gangster movies, gangster movies, you will never see the motherfuckers on the phone. They be like, I see you later. I talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Whoop -whoop. They never mm -hmm. do their business over the phone. Why would you dumbasses knowing that you a crime organization? Talk over the phone about value somebody. Is there audio of this conversation? Yeah. Yeah. With Jim Jones. Yeah. But see, here's here's my thing. I don't think that Jimmy is a snitch. Mm -hmm. I, let me say that right flat out. But I do think that Jim Jones isn't that intellectually savvy when it comes to trying to be at the top of an organization or trying to have or trying to be the OG. Like some niggas just ain't cut out to be leaders. That's, but my thing so, is, oh, I think he just set himself up. Nah, that's. But my thing is, that is, 
I agree with you 100. But at the end of the day, if you know another way you can get people out, why would you lead them down that way? The Bloods knew Takashi was a scorpion. Why would you bring a cow into your organization? If you about the bag. But the thing is, if you can clap that, clamp down on somebody like that, what you think the DA and the FBI can do to that same person and get what they want out of a motherfucker? So my thing is, why didn't they just take two of the gangbanging homies that actually lived that life, put them under Jim Jones, let them learn the music biz, and go about having a record label that way? You already got the numbers. You got the whole mother. You got a whole motherfucking gang set. Because that bag was already them. established. Yeah, but why do that though? You know what I'm saying? Like now your whole crime organization going down and he about to get out. Niggas don't have no foresight, Pete. <laughs> niggas don't have no foresight. Niggas right. can't see but these beside, old niggas, these niggas in front 45, 46. What you have to do with anything? You should be smarter than that. What the fuck no, you mean? No, I don't <laughs> like you 45, 46. You about, to, you about to be in the grave in 20 years, bro. Oh, you should shit. probably be like. Grim Reaper. Oh. God, God damn. damn. You, 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 you fucking 50 Make sure old. you got your life insurance. God damn. Your you policy. Like He's taking them out of here. Man. Early. You got to know still trying to gangbang, bro. That shit is corny. God damn. Like, you supposed to be controlling the little homies so they can do something constructive. You ain't supposed to be out here sending them on dummy messages. Hey. Motherfucking Shadi done got caught. Five people he done shot in a day. That's on audio. <laughs> Motherfuckers robbing rap a lot employees. That's on video. And Takashi recording from his phone. Oh, 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 oh. a whole bunch of dumb shit. Them Jay Prince was, said them niggas lying. And if they ever did, he gonna meet up with Lying them. about what? Robbing uh, well, somebody from. That shit was on, they did, shit on camera. Camera. they did that shit on camera in the hallway. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, it's the whole, like I said, they was moving too oh. sloppy. Even the shit when they shot at Casanova. Casanova didn't even run. Everybody just hit the ground and he walked towards them. They ran out the joint. Oh, for real? Where yeah. was that at? The Barclays. Oh. There's a video. Yeah, I don't be paying attention to that shit, but that I do dumb. be reading the stories. That shit dumb, bro. Like, mm -mm. nah, so. Oh, and Jim Jones is supposed to be far away from that shit. You making too much fuck money. You is, supposed he? To go get is he? Is he? Is he making. I don't he making more than Takashi. He getting a little TV I don't money. Know. TV hey, money. Hey, shout out to Jim Jones and uh, Charlemagne the God. That album is decent. Jim Jones. Oh, El Capo. Yeah. 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 He put out two good albums. He put out two good albums in the last two times. So you know Takashi, fuck, fuck you. He not a retired rapper. Because that's what he called him on in the um, courthouse. Man, oh my that's God. What he called him. Oh, fuck all that shit, man. That shit dumb. What you think? What you think, Wayne? I ain't following it. This shit all garbage to me, man. I don't Damn, you don't, you don't, you don't uh, <laughs> support the young homies? No, fuck with that. <laughs> I don't fuck with that shit, man. What you think? That shit don't catch my earlobes. I don't know. I'm just, you, think, you think Jimmy a snitch? I don't think he's a snitch. No, I don't think he's a snitch. I just think it's a lot of inconsistencies with that situation. I hope he's not. Mm, we'll, we'll, hope but we will see soon. Yeah. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, bro. I ain't saying he is. I'm just nothing has it. nothing's happened in the past to insinuate that he was a snitch. Mm -hmm. So he don't have a record of that type of shit. So I don't know. I can't condemn him so quickly. Yeah. Please don't be a snitch, Jim. <laughs> yeah, man. You made Mr. Hardback. Yeah. If you a snitch, oh yeah, you made. Oh, you making New York look real bad. Oh, <laughs> Harlem going to make. Ooh, Harlem, Harlem. All right, what else we got? Uh, the Trump impeachment. Uh, Why did it take so long to fucking happen? It's about fucking time. Uh, about fucking time. Yeah, I don't think. I, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna. I'm until I see it actually happen. I'm the same way. I don't think it's gonna happen. So I think, I think let me get ready to happen. argue with everybody. I think it is gonna happen because everybody knows if we don't make it happen, then 2020 we're we're super fucked. So they're trying to prepare for that. They gotta get them out. Because if he gets to run, period, he's going to win again. Wait, so I saw something today that said that he was actually going to, um, what? he wasn't going to run. That's a damn lie. In um, exchange for immunity for him and his family. And they caught him in so much shit. Oh. So he was believe, not going to be in a race. I don't. I Allegedly. Don't, I can't, I can't see him. Bowing bowing down. Down. Yeah, I don't see him bowing out. At, at all. Yeah, no, nah, he loves power way too much. They gonna have to literally get him the fuck out of there. Yeah, and that's the way so, they gonna have to snipe him. I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. If they impeach Trump, whoever we get next in this next year, 2020, it's gonna be some shit. 
and it's gonna <laughs> fuck us up. I'm gonna just be honest. I mean, we already I think we just up. fucked up with God, like yeah, either way. Nah, it's gonna be like ten times worse. No. Why you say why that? You good thing. Why you say that? Pence saying it, and who the fuck? Who the fuck is behind? Who who is behind? Who is the vice president? Who is the vice president? Who has? Y'all know what this nigga be trying, baby. Bro, that nigga be trying to stay clear of fucking Trump shit, bro. That nigga be trying to be in these wars heavy. Bro, he can't start a war. So he want to go to war. war he want to. Everything. Listen. But I don't think he ain't right. got enough time, though. His supporters the and all that. The impeachment process going to take all the way up to, like, next year, I understand. And that's the other part. So Come on, y'all. That nah, shit took who's um, ass out? Clinton two weeks. But you know that, what that is. Clinton got his dick different. sucked. They, want, they mad because he's a... That ain't... He that's head. what a dick suck will do. Yeah, you know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, but... Bro, like, who the fuck cares? The only person that should have been mad. That's Clinton's not why. Person. That's not why he got impeached, though. He got impeached because he had her all around all these classified documents and all the rest of that shit. That was, what? So he was that's getting what they his say. Dick That's what they nah, say. That, that's, no, that's what really, they say. But they mad because there's a the little thing. white girl who got on fucking her knees, had that motherfucker skeet on her skirt, and she was walking around the office like that. That's what that shit Your was. Your man Reaper. lied, and then evidence was... Yeah, I mm -hmm. didn't have sexual so. relations and did the point. But y'all know impeachment ain't no legal shit. This is all opinion and whether or not you fucking broke or went against the constitution. Like, it don't have, nigga, if you break a law, that don't mean you have to get impeached. Yeah, because there's no law against getting a dick sucked. No, that's what I'm saying. So, I don't it's know. Everything that followed. But he lied yeah. about it. Yes. So that's kinda like when he was sworn in about there it, it is. he lied. But he Trump lied. lied about everything, so you know. When P, he was, thank you, P. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus it's, Christ! What he lied to the. All right, so people. so so Wayne, I'm I'm talking directly to you now. Mm -hmm. You said he lied, right? I mean, he did. It took him two weeks to get impeached. Mm -hmm. He did. How many fucking lies have we caught the Donald in, and he hasn't <laughs> been impeached? Oh yeah, the Donald. He, but the thing about it is, he ain't go to. He ain't been to court. So well, I'm gonna tell you good. So what's up? I'm gonna tell you what the hold, hold, up. Thing. Tell you what the hold up for real. I'm gonna tell you what the hold up is for real. Donald put so many Wrong. motherfucking unqualified people in powerful positions. <laughs> <laughs> like dumbass Ben Carson. Like no bullshit hey, though. Like, like no bullshit. Like, right, they just but, applied on indeed. Yeah, indeed like, <laughs> like, like Charlemagne said, he ran that motherfucker like a temp agency for real. Like, like you know, he really did. Come in, he ran like, it like a Like so it's one of those things where like that. What the fuck you ran it like? You ran it like a show. <laughs> it is a TV show, so it's it's one of those things where it's like for him, he put all the right pieces around because he promised people so much. Mm -hmm. They got and it they, too. And, no, they didn't. A lot of people didn't. They got, but they still waiting. A lot of people didn't. They got see, what they wanted. Callaway ain't around no more. Hardly like that. Right. His, pit, his main pit bull, the old brittle bitch. But she, it's oh, eight. It's eight. Then, then uh, too hard Sarah Huckabee, Friday. you see how she got the fuck about her across out of that. Hey, you know what's so what's so funny, Pete? So we was just at <laughs> August. Miss August wears <laughs> Prada ball. We was at her ball Fox. recently. Yep. And guess who was in attendance? Who was that? Omarosa. And then she definitely was. Fuck her too. And this bitch walked in, and she I guess she thought she was gonna get like some grand, you and know, she, acceptance, and everybody was just like, I bet. You yeah, that's what the fuck uh, she did. You switched teams, like you champion got, for this man. What the she, fuck? We don't. She we got the keep... motherfucking easy bye, Felicia. <laughs> nah, that's we ain't, no funny. We it's really true. didn't pay her ass. So much yeah, we was just like, like what? I mean, I knew why she was there. Like, I got it, I understood, but it was just like, I ain't got no beef with you, Alma Rosa. Yeah, you just I go mean, ahead and try to make your money amongst the white people. Friend, she wanted an apprentice. She was sucking that nigga Dixon on the side. Oh. That was him. I ain't saying she really sucked the dick. I'm saying she was Damn. on the show. Oh my god! But you know, she was on the show. She was a special guest. She was one of the top <laughs> contestants on that motherfucker. Fuck her, bro. Like anybody that try to flip now that black people ain't fucking with him, and now that Donald kicked him out the house, I don't feel no sympathy. I feel you man. on that. You shouldn't have been with him in the first place. You know he ain't respect women, black women, nobody but his family. Man, that's a nigga a pervert. A nigga want to fuck his daughter for real. You see how he be kicking on Ivanka? That nigga a fucking pervert. Fuck Trump. It's real fucked up. Yeah, they gonna kill him. Real. This is that escalated quick, like Wayne. <laughs> yeah, Wayne. What you got, Wayne? What you got for us, Weezy? The shit. <laughs> hey, that shit. Hey, P just left the gym, y'all. So he a little. Yeah, he's man. still a little. Yeah. Hey, man. No, I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't with you shooting in the gym, man. <laughs> God damn, it's all good, man. Hey, hold up, though. Real quick, real quick. 
Dallas. So, tell us about your last project. Which project? Wait, which one? <laughs> your last rap. Your last rap project. Oh, uh, my last project actually was not mine. Mm, really? You know, I do a lot of ghost writing. Yes. No, not... no, no, no. Yes, I do know that. Sorry. Yeah. The last thing that you put out. The last thing I put out was um yeah um it was lit what, what you what you want now <laughs> you want to know the name <laughs> where we can find it um so all my music is on um well, you know I took everything down I had to oh shit listen the same reason I took the music down is the same reason why <laughs> the dish ended yeah I got you what I got had you. happened was. There we go. Um, <laughs> the black you know, that that, that's that's how it starts. Um, so I was employed with a company that it was retail, and I had moved. I had moved to a different location. The first location, everybody knew about my project. They actually used to play it in the store, like when you know at the end of the night we clean up and shit. But once I transferred to a different location, these were a whole new group of people. And I was in a higher position, and the people was on YouTube and Instagram, and they were surfing me, and found the music, found the show, and they were coming to work reciting the lyrics, and they felt like you know this our boss, this what she do outside of work, and it was just like a conflict for me, so I kind of like panicked, and I called my people and was like, yo, just take everything down, like I just didn't want to be in that situation. So they couldn't separate work from your hobby. They couldn't. Like and and yeah. I did not know as much as I know now about, um, you know, HR and not being able to be penalized for things that I do outside of work, you know, right. in the workplace. So I just took everything down because I didn't, you know, I just didn't know. I didn't know enough. But, um, yeah, that's why the dish ended. That's why I stopped doing um the music the last project was entitled no holes barred mm. and i think it was my best project to date because i think originally um i didn't really understand i i knew i know good music like i know bars but i feel like me as an artist i progressed as i started to do music and i learned about um bars and metaphors and uh, triple entendres, double entendres and just finding the right beat and staying on topic and battling all that type of shit was my focus so once I took everything down um, I still was affiliated with a lot of rappers that's in the city and I get calls like yo I need a hook yo I need a 16, yo I got this Bring female yeah, I got this female, and you know I need her on this song. Can you write something for her? So it was like gradually starting to become a thing, and it was certain people that I would work with all the time. So you know, ghostwriting is it's it's lit because I get to kind of hear somebody's story and then create it, create the song based on that story. It's fun. It's like what most people. Would say their love of acting is like I get to be a, play a role and be somebody else. So mm -hmm. when I get the call about ghostwriting, it's more so like it's good. I, I like seeing the finished product. Project. So the finished process? product. My writing process. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Um. Well, with ghostwriting, the writing process is like I said, sitting down, kind of talking to somebody. Like, what you want the song to be about? Let me hear your verse. What you want this bitch verse to be like? Right. Or sometimes, I know some people, they write their verses before they find a hook. They might take the hook from the verses. But when it comes to me, I actually like to make my find my hook first. Once I create my hook... I would be the same way if I were. Yeah, then I would start to write the bars. And sometimes the bars is already set up. I just kind of got to piece it together the right way. And sometimes I go back and change it. Like, I've gone back and changed, took, took something from one song to another song. But, yeah, it's lit. Like, I think my favorite part of the process is the very beginning when I'm finding beats. Because I kind of get to get a feel for what I want the sound to be on the project. And I always wanted to be cohesive. So, it has to, it don't have to sound the same. 
but it needs to mesh and it needs to be just a cohesive body of work. Yo, I wrote and sent it to Dallas. Dallas didn't even respond to me, y'all. <laughs> what? Right, I'm a right eye, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking? You Dallas are fucking. Like, like, why do you Dallas do this? Why like, do you? Nah. Why do you wait until we get on a platform like this it. and lie? I need to hear it. Swear to God. What are you talking about? I said, all right, I'm a, I'm a write a uh, verse and I'm gonna be on the song. And I wrote the shit and sent it to Dallas. Dallas was like, Nah, I'm gonna need to hear you say it. No, uh, uh -uh. I'm uh, well, the, okay. So I'm pretty sure you. What I remember you sending me is something like. You sent me something and it sounded the way you wrote it was wrong, but the bars yeah, were there. I, don't know how to write that shit. I didn't know you were serious about it. <laughs> I wasn't. I just wanted to see if I could exactly. do it. So why you see it trying to like I played you or something? Played Listen, the shit out of me. You yeah. trying it. You what you did though is no different from what niggas that do all the time. Like they send me this little sample or something. So what I have been doing is going in and kind of referencing the track. And then once I go on and reference the track, they do whatever they want. Once I get my payment, then they do whatever they want to do. So, um, if you need a writer, y'all know how to reach me. Everybody know how to reach me. Nah, Everything is very low key Bars. And, and, you know. Bars. We, if anybody was to in. call you, uh -huh. who, would you who would be your dream collaborator? My dream collaborator? Um, honestly, right now, it'd be, um... Cardi. It's still Jada Kiss. Jada would be my dream collab. And you know what? Money. Jada actually said, you say he what? I said, you ain't trying to make no money. What you mean? You don't like Jada Kiss. What you talking about? Why you don't like Jada Kiss? Jada Kiss ain't making no money. You talking oh about somebody God, selling shit? You talking about who's selling shit? Ain't nobody club. Ain't no, he, but, listen, you I get, ain't making no money I get what you're saying, Jada. but listen, I get what you're saying, but the way that Jada has inspired me, so many people it wouldn't even matter at this point like it, of course I, we want we want to get paid ah. and jada is actually the only person that went on record and said i don't care if you gay bi trans whatever if you got the cash and the song is decent i'm on it so it would be jada right. Kiss. female it would be don't megan no i fuck with okay. i fuck with megan Rick, what with Remy? Remy is oh. such a disappointment to me at this point. Well, I'm so glad you said that shit publicly. It'd be Megan. <laughs> I said it to you. I said it publicly. Right? Yes. In public, I just she just she's very disappointing to me. You Yo. you are getting your fucking life right now. The fact that because you just know how much I live for her, right? Yes, I and, do. But she has been a disappointment. Kill me about Nikki versus Remy. And now, did I kill you about it? No, what, you really what did. did. What did I say? Actually, lost. That's one of the arguments I lost. What did I say though about you? You just went on about track record work, bars, who do what, and I'm like, nah, I, mean, I don't I, agree. I, I felt like agree. Nikki won the battle. Did I tell you anything different? No, you didn't. Okay, so you I felt just like expected her to come out and win, but she didn't. She did not. I thought that first of all, what a lot of people fail to realize about that battle, and I know it's old as fuck, but Nikki started the battle okay. with with the um. The, the Gucci song, Make Love. Okay. So when Remy came out with the um, Sheeta, that wasn't the beginning of the battle. Okay. So everybody was like, oh, Nikki ain't respond. Nikki had already, See, Nikki so. fucking. Nikki was talking Kim K and Ray J. Yo, she turned that. Remy did the Sheeta, it was damaging. And when Nikki came back, it was very clever the way that she approached the battle. Yes, it took three weeks or how many other days but I think that lyrically, Nikki is, she's smarter. She's she's a thinker. She thinks outside of the box. Look who she went to um, do that. Yes, I agree. The, the male version of her does the same thing. Who? I agree. But what I don't want to do is associate oh her God. with her male counterparts. Oh, my God. I feel Jesus. like. Oh, my God. Thank you. I feel God. like oh Nikki has proven that she can write. She's a writer. Bye. She's Say it again. Say it again. And the way that she approached the battle yeah, like you is hear that the first? reason why she came out. I take Nikki over Drake. Ultimately, I oh, don't What? what? Yeah, I feel like I'm what? In the on me. What is wrong with this dude? This is the same person that didn't put him in the top 50. Didn't put him in his top 50. Pray, what is wrong this with dude you? Is a fucking legend. What's wrong, Pray? I don't know what's wrong He didn't with put him me. in the top 50. Uh, Pray is not using. Hey, y'all. At all. Pray need a hook. Oh my gosh. Drake is Drake not top 50? No. Fuck everything y'all talking about right now. Not top 50? Come on now. Drake, Drake is, is top 10. Drake is the corniest motherfucker rapper. No, he's not. By far. No. The corniest I see I'm sipping. Because that's what I got to do. Man. 
Oh, I feel yeah. some type of way because I'm sober as fuck. But you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah. But to end that, yes. Ghost right and that's the right process. Mm. Nikki won. I'm not beefing with that. Um, I ain't with that. You know, it is. There's one left. I know, that's why you want to pull it up, Paul. Aww. Aww. So, um, you have to rock, paper, paper. So, yeah. Papers. No, I'm good. I just I'm told good. you. What oh, yeah, that's right. Here you go. I'm but you know what? Up. We, um, we've been talking about another project. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Bad, bad, bad. Can I get a feature? Of course. All right. Oh. I'm oh, building that motherfucker on a hook. You hear me? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Dish, wash out for it, nigga. I'm gonna hear this. So, you sort of hope. It's gonna be lit. Oh, you know what? You know what's so funny? You know what I meant to tell y'all? Y'all be so surprised. Like, okay, so you know when Nikki dropped, um, what was it? Dreams? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'd be so surprised how many people called me and was like, yo, put me in it. Don't put me in it. I don't want nothing to do with it. Wait, what? People that I work with, people who I know, people who I'm affiliated with, like some of them wanted to be mentioned. Gotcha. Because remember we was talking about before, even with Ted, Ted was like, you should do it. And I'm like, all right, so we went in, I recorded like half the song, and then I started getting calls about, oh, put me in it. Oh, oh, I don't want to be in it. I don't want to be a part of it. So it's like, it's it's tough dealing with shit like that. And I told you before, like, people would call me to do features. We would do the feature with Ray. Shout out to Ray. Ray. Ray, the he, genius. He. My engineer, my producer, he would basically send, we would send the songs over and everything would be lit and then they'll find out, yep. oh, she's trans. So now it's a issue. I even had one nigga try to steal a verse. He tried to steal it what? and give it to one of his joints that he do music with and she's some shit. Mm. However, um, yeah, so it's a whole, it's it's a lot to it. So, it was more than that. Like, doing the features and all that shit, it was just a headache. Right. It was getting on my fucking nerves. You Guess know? what? You should have maxed out on everybody. Uh, nah, I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm very respectful when it comes to things like that. Like, I usually, first of all, a ghostwriter does not post who they write for. Right. That's the first, that's first and right. foremost. Right. Second of all, if somebody asks me not to put them in something, that's just like with my interviews. If I sit down and talk to you and I send you the, the questions ahead of time, I'm not going to wait till you get in front of me and start asking all this wild shit right. that we ain't discuss. Right. It's so funny because I'll, I don't know if y'all had already talked about the Malik Yoba shit, but he did an interview. Oh, lady, yeah, yeah. He did an interview yeah. and, and he was sitting in front of the queen and the queen started asking him about the allegations. He, he rolled out, he snapped. Yeah, he snapped. Yeah. How You sat down with this man for four hours and talked about what's, what y'all gonna discuss. How do you come sideways? Then you, That's where you start to get into oh, people's integrity. Oh, is that what happened? And like their, yeah. their character, is that the like, Joe Brown jump? Was it? I don't know. No, no it was, it was no, no, no. The, uh, the roots. I think. Yeah, the roots. That's exactly. Like, that's oh, exactly what it was. That, yeah, the he went the fuck off. The dude sitting there, like, right. he like, we talked for four hours. This is my mother. He put it out, Kelly. This is my motherfucking life. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Kelly was my motherfucking Gail Drake. Yeah, yeah, he definitely, yeah, he yeah, definitely yeah, was going yeah. at him. Come on. Damn. My thing is Malik Yoba, man. This thing. Uh, What's up with that, man? He's stupid, man. Like my thing is, man. Ray, why is he stupid? Because, like I tell you on the last episode. I don't like the fact that he's making this a black versus trans thing. Is he? Is he? Yes. No. Because the whole interview he did with um, it was the one with Judge Joe Brown we watched that Rico sent. Me. Uh huh. He was mainly saying black men need to stop doing this. Black men need to stop killing people. It's like yes. black men not the he only did. people yes, killing transsexuals. Say people he need did. to stop killing these people. Like we understand that you trans attracted and you 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 on their side and you wanna help. Push the cause of peace. That's fine. I don't blame you, but don't keep sending the same, making the same, make like it it's seem like it's just black, black people. people. Uh, you know what I'm saying that's my problem with. It. I agree with that. Yeah, I can't yeah. disagree. Like, um, you know, but that's that's what you call ignorance. If you don't have the knowledge about any other race killing trans people, that's how he's gonna. I'm not gonna it. call it ignorance. I'm gonna actually call that him pushing. An agenda that he willingly knows he's pushing. I don't. I, I will not 
You made it too far for me to all of a sudden call you stupid. Like, nah, you know what you're doing and you know how you're putting it out. What reason would he intentionally be trying to push an agenda against black men? The same, the same reason why, I don't want to say the government, but the system is pushing the A agenda against black men. Okay. Just, just to keep them down and that's it. I don't know this nigga, so I don't know if he don't know or if he just is it's speaking out of, no, you know, it's, it's a lot of... I think if you can do what you fucking want to, stop trying to pin it on we one. Said that last one week. Yeah, don't pin it on one type of one type of person. Like black man, black nah, man, get the fuck out of here. Because you don't know every black man. Like you generalizing everybody to be negative. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He don't know about the conversations or how cool Rico is with trans people. Or I'm cool with trans people. I don't I, care what you do in your personal time. As long as you don't disrespect I love me, be a hundred. I don't care. I think it's you know crazy saying? how this this the original topic was him being trans attracted right like we get that part i think my i took issue with the trans community the lgbt community <laughs> saying Howdy. well yeah i guess they were saying like you know you are trans attracted but are you in a relationship with a trans woman like um you know matter? do you pay sex workers for sex what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Obviously, if he's trans attracted, there's a possibility that he paid right. for a trans girl. But why are you all I making mean. this the focus? Yeah. Here you go again trying to mind you, if y'all if y'all got paid for sex, why are you all just saying something now after this man that said he's trans attracted? So now you're trying to out him and you're further pushing the uh, the um you're further perpetuating that it's something wrong with him dating or dealing with trans girls exactly. they don't that's see exactly that. they don't what's happening that, that's exactly what's happening so that's you know so while he's in the defense of you you are putting them out there and making it seem like that it's something wrong with that's you. all i've been seeing but 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 i 100 percent agree with you but here's here's the caveat to it it was that individual saying that about him but was speaking about the age now uh, of the trans person that he was dealing with now that was that, another part of it with that being said i have a question how do you feel about them adding the p to the end of what's the p for, supposed to stand for pedophile to, to lgbt yeah. oh, bitch. Yeah, that's i'm just mean. asking because that's that's what's popping that's the new shirt. That's I mean, and they say you can love who you love and pedophiles love a, who they love, that's and that's how they. Agenda. Well, I mean, that's and, that, and that's why I'm talking about agendas. All of y'all can go on the sex offender registry for DC, Maryland, Virginia, whatever state you want to go to. Listen up, and you tell me. Listen up. Come again <laughs> and let me know if you really want to add that P on the end of LGBT. I'm, it's so many niggas that I follow on Facebook and on Instagram that's probably gonna be listening and watching. Both of these, that's on that list. Facts. Mm. I had, facts. I, didn't I tell you, the, I told you the story about old boy Listen, you, that you went smack. Me. Old boy went smack, right? You told me a story. A, Said, a few of them. <laughs> have, we was having a conversation, a regular conversation, y'all. Not talking about sex, not talking about dating, not talking about linking up, nothing. For weeks, probably like a month. Somehow, in some way, Somebody who I know know him basically told him, Oh, you oh you be talking to her? Oh, she trans. Mind you, me and him ain't never linked up, we ain't never hooked right. up, we ain't never did nothing. This nigga gonna hit me up and say, you know, it's fucked up that you ain't let me know what you was. Mind you, the same time he getting information about me. You getting information. I got information about him. about him. He's on the sex offenders registry. Watch this motherfucking come back. He say to me, you know, I said, well, you know, since me, you're not talking about sex. We're not, we're having casual conversation. I, I don't have to tell you my personal information. I don't have to tell you anything personal about me right. when it's, I'm, the when, wasn't that when my, person. yeah, well, you, first of all, you're not even my type. My intent is not to date you. So I don't have to fucking tell you anything. This is true. I said the same way you ain't have to tell me or explain to me why you're on the sex offenders registry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you probably there's a there's a 50-50 chance that you got him that 
and didn't know this bitch that she was fucking was 15 years old. Yeah, because she was 15. Mm -hmm. So, the same reason I don't got to explain nothing that's going on with me to you. You don't got to explain it to me. I ain't asking you. I ain't questioning you. But, of course, since you brought it up, I'm going to bring your shit up. <laughs> so, it's like, you got to be careful. Say it again. Okay. All fair. You, you got to be careful. But, again, add that P. That's... That's, that's that right there, serious. and I'm. That's the push right now. That right, that's crazy. And you, and you know hey, who's be behind it. To my fucking and the kind of dick piping down one of these white little daughters at a fucking ten years old, and they can be like, "Oh my god, a black man." See, <laughs> it's gonna be Emmett Till all over. They open up a can of worms. They do not fucking. Want. And see, that's the problem, though, P. That's. I hate to say it like this, but though they want to do what they do. They don't mind that backlash because they're not gonna get in trouble for this shit. Fact, mm -hmm. fact. We gonna get in trouble if we fact, do this no, shit. They never we don't. Get in we don't. Do this shit, but bro. Thing is, bro, I don't see how men. It's having your cake and eating eat it. Too. I don't see how men attracted to last girls anyway. I mean, that shit is beyond me. But see, the thing you, about, but the thing about, we all have our preferences. It's not just that they be just attracted to little girls, right? Right. They be attracted to little, little boys. boys. I ain't gonna say one which one is worse than the other. I'm just. I'm saying, not saying I don't like is. either, but I'm telling you Listen. as a as a father <laughs> in right. this motherfucking car right now. If I ever see a man touch my Tristan, tell me, oh, I got man. I'm done. It's over. Listen, I'm done. At the end of the day, cook. One nigga is society. thirty. <laughs> cook. One nigga is thirty, and another nigga is thirteen. I don't care, male or female. That's not. That's, cool. that's, that's not. That's cool. disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't, so much I don't, adult. I'm sorry. So much adult. I just don't. Adult. I don't agree. Digging pussy out here. Why the fuck you want to fuck with a kid, bro? That's crazy. Why are you taking the innocence away from me? So that? why you think they try to add that pee on there? I mean, that's what. It's funny you said that because that's an agenda that they're pushing. That's it's bad. that all trans gay people they all pedophiles. Yeah, when they, when they're trying to wait, make it whatever. If you, if, you, if you're trying to put P on the end of LGBT, you're saying that They're the community together. are pedophiles. Uh, I never even thought about the community being pedophiles. I just thought it was somebody trying to attach themselves to the community. No, you're attaching that stigma yeah, to... Yeah, it's like yeah, no, no, I, 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 I agree. I see it now. and I, I never even thought about it like that because I wouldn't, I wouldn't say... The people like that I know everybody are better. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think, I, think, I think people are just sick. Like, if you think about R. Kelly, like, it's about being able to control and manipulate younger people. Sometimes right. it is sexual, but other times it's more so... If it's the power. It's the power yeah. that they have over. So I'm not trying to make sense of it, but when, but when you... Break it down. When you break it down, you can look... R. Kelly is a classic case of pedophilia. He's mm -hmm. a pedophile... Yeah. You know, you the Chris Hansen shit on Dateline. You see that all the time. Like they just like the control. They like to be able to manipulate mm -hmm. the younger people. That's that's so. Right. It's crazy now that you say that. Now I understand why, and I hate to say it like this. And I think if it was the other way around, we would see a higher number in this community as well. But that's why it's so prevalent with the white people because they're the ones with the money and the power. Mm -hmm. Now, if you gave the black people money and power, it may be the same. Mm -hmm. Don't know, but I'm just saying we can't. That's that's nothing that should be more dead bodies though. If you gave black people that same power, yeah, it'd be more dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Well, I say this. What we got next, P? See, that's pretty much it. That's a whole. Hour. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Is it? Hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs>